Hi everyone, in today's video, I present a very interesting question where you can actually use some nautical math, some principles of mathematics to find the course made good and distance made good as you would do in a chart work question. So without further ado, let's get into the question here. There is a vessel that is steering a course of 268 degrees true at 12.5 knots. A current is setting at 077 degrees true at 3.6 knots you have to find the course made good not the course to steer but the course made good due to the effect of the current to the nearest degree and the distance covered in 3 hours and 40 minutes up to two decimal places all right so the first thing here is for you to draw a diagram to understand what's going on here so that there is no confusion regarding what you have to calculate all right so this is there is a vessel here all right, and it is doing 268 so of course uh, this is north this is south this is west which is 270 and east right so west is 270 so naturally the course if it is 268 the course would be very close to the west course so it's doing 268 at 12.5 so remember although the distance and the course we have to find out is uh, for 3 hours and 40 minutes the vector diagram or the triangle that we draw here or the courses that we draw here and the distances that we apply here will all be for one hour and then we apply that one hour uh, findings to three hours and 40 minutes i'll show you how so this is the the course and the distance made good by the not made good but this is the course and the distance that is currently uh, the vessel is steering uh, 268 degrees at 12.5 nautical miles and this is 12.5 nautical miles for one hour and uh, this is what it is doing right so when it reaches here this is where it is expected to reach all right at 268 now remember here itself let me show you that due to the rules of the parallelogram let me show you what the rules of parallelogram is so if there are two parallel lines here and I connect them with a diagonal this angle here becomes equal to this angle this is these are also called alternate angles all right so similarly here we have two parallel lines the west east line yes the west east line there are two parallel lines and it is being joined by the course so therefore you can say that this angle here equals this angle here all right so that is the principle we will be using today so and how this comes in handy i'll show you as we go along so for now let me just erase this so this is the principle of a parallelogram that we will be using today so let me just erase all the extra bits because there will be lots to show you in this diagram here and i will do draw a separate diagram as well but let me just show you here all right so then the vessel is also uh, there's a current that is setting at 077 degrees true at 3.6 nautical miles so of course if this is just two degree so remember this is 268 268 means this is this up to here is 268 degrees right so therefore the remaining this angle here is just two degrees because from north to west it is 270 degrees right so therefore this will also be two degrees all right something you can you can understand here all right so let me draw the current here so the current is setting at 077 so i will just make it a bit pronounced this is not the accurate angle here i'm just pronouncing it so that you guys understand how the current is setting this is not a 077 angle but you get the idea so this is if you measure it out so if i draw 077 it will become very close to the black line there uh, and then you get confused. So I'm just trying to exaggerate it in a way that you understand it. So 077 degrees true, the current is setting and it is setting for 3.6 nautical miles. This is again a one hour triangle. So that is what we'll be drawing. All right, so let me just get rid of that. 268, 12.5 will be somewhere here. So I'll draw 26, 268 degrees and 12.5, that is 0 0.7. And then I draw it and then I just have to join this with this here. So remember, uh, 077 degrees true means this, this angle here. 
that's why I'm using different colored pens so that you guys get an idea this is 077 degrees as measured from the north south axis and that is the current so you can see that is 077 degrees and uh, the red part this part here is 2 degrees the blue part is 77 degrees one quadrant comprises of 90 degrees so 90 degrees minus 77 degrees plus 2 degrees gives you what so 90 degrees minus 79 degrees equals 11 degrees that's why the angle inside the triangle this angle here this green portion here will be 11 degrees all right that is this is the only tricky part in this question here for you to understand how the principles of parallelogram is applied to find the alternate angles first and then to apply that knowledge into the internal angle all right so again i will erase this because you might get confused that the internal angle here is two degrees i will going to erase this so if you i will i will now draw the diagram in such a way that you understand how it works like a, a triangle but it's difficult for me to show you all this in this diagram here because the angles are such that they cannot be pronounced so this is the this is the diagram so all right so if i just have to make a triangle triangle right if i have to make a triangle this is what it will look like and i will call this let's say a b and c so we have a here which is 11 degrees we know that this is 3.6 nautical miles and this is 12.5 nautical miles this is 11 degrees so in a plane triangle if we know the two sides and the angle included between it we can apply the cosine rule or also known as the side angle side rule or the cosine rule for plane triangles now what is cosine rule for plane triangles let me just show you here so opposite a is the side a opposite b is side b and opposite c is side c now i'm going to put a stroke through c when i write the side otherwise it's hard for me to distinguish between angle c and the side c so every time i will write side c i will put a stroke through c so if this is the rule here so that means that cos of a cos of angle a equals the square of the sum of the sides next to it so that is 3.6 square plus 12.5 square minus the square of the side opposite it a square which i don't know divided by so remember in this in this uh, diagram here this here is the distance made good in one hour you have to remember that this is one hour only not three and a half hours and also uh, if i can just show you here this angle here this angle here will be the course made good so that means essentially i know uh, that uh, if i can just show you here so i know that the this this angle here in draw in blue is 268 so if i can just find out this angle here that means if i find out this angle c here and add it to 268 i will be able to find out the um uh, course made good all right but before that i also have to find the distance made good, which is a so distance made good is a and if i find out c and add to the course that i was steering that is 268 in the angle you can see here so that will be the course made good all right because i already know from uh, in this diagram here i know that from north to the black line is 268 that is the course that I have measured and then if I just find out angle C in the triangle and add to 268 I will be able to just find the course made good but A in the triangle small letter A is the distance made good in one hour so I have to find A first and then multiply it by three and a half three hours and 40 minutes to find the answer all right so let's continue with it so this is two times 3.6 times 12.5 so what is side angle side rule or cosine rule if I have to write the formula, it's cos of A equals B square plus side C square minus A square divided by 2BC. So whatever is the angle in question or the angle that is included and provided to it is equals to the square of the sum of the sides next to it, B square and C square minus the square of the side opposite it divided by 2 times B times C. We'll apply it again when we are trying to find angle C. So you will see a demonstration of that again. So if I have to solve cos uh, A square, so again cos A is known to us, so it is cos of 11 degrees equals 
3.6 square plus 12.5 square minus a square divided by 2 times 3.6 times 12.5 now if i have to find out what is a square i have to do some kind of a transposition that means i take these values here so these values become 2 times 3.6 times 12.5 times cos of 11 degrees equals 3.6 square plus 12.5 square minus a square so i will take a square to the other side to make it a positive number and i can take all these numbers to the other side which will become a negative number of course because they are all uh, in a relationship with each other in multiplication but at the end of the day it's a positive number i don't have to write it but it's a positive number so when it goes to the other side it becomes a negative number so a square equals 3.6 square plus 12.5 square minus 2 times 3.6 times 12.5 times cos of 11 all right that is the transposition we have to do so here of course we have 12.96 a square equals 12.96 plus 156.25 and then if you multiply 2 times 3.6 times 12.5 times cos 11 you will get 88.35 or a square equals add these two up together first 169.21 add them up together and then subtract it from 88.35 remember the rules of bid mass or bod mass left to right so you will get a square equals 80.86 or a equals square root of 80.86 which you will get as 8.99 something i will just round it off to 9 nautical miles so that means my distance made good in this triangle is 9 nautical miles a is 9 nautical miles that is the distance made good in one hour all right so this distance made good in one hour equals 9 nautical miles but I need to find the distance made good in 3 hours and 40 minutes. So what is 3 hours and 40 minutes? So you can just divide 40 by 60. If you divide 40 by 60, what do you get? You get 0 0.666666 like that, right? So that is 0 0.6666 of an hour. So this becomes 3.667 hours. All right? Divide 40 by 60 and then add it as a decimal of a minute to the 3 hours. So 40 by 60 is 0 0.66666, you just convert it into 0 0.667, add it to the 3 hours, make it 3.667 hours. So distance made good in 3 hours and 40 minutes equals nothing but 9 nautical miles times 3.667. So 9 nautical miles multiplied by 3.667 will give you... 33 nautical miles so 33 nautical miles is the distance made good in 3 hours 40 minutes all right now i have to find angle c in this triangle angle c and i know that if i just add angle c to my course made good i can get the sorry if i just add angle c to the course i was studying 268 i will get the course made good so 268 plus angle c will give me course made good right from the triangle i can see that all right, the, the diagram is pretty uh, difficult to make because all the values are so close to each other. Um, that's why it's a bit tricky, but you get the idea, right? So to find the course made good, again, we go back to this triangle here, the triangle that we drew separately, this triangle here. So if you see, you have to find angle C and I want to use the side angle side rule or the cosine rule. How do I apply that? So cos of C will be equal to the sum of the squares of the sides next to it that will be a square plus b square minus the square of the side opposite it side c square divided by 2 times a times b all right so if we go back and then we just write cos of angle c equals the sum of the squares of the side next to it so a square plus b square minus side c square divided by 2 times a times b so if i have to just put the values here it will be 12.5 square plus 9 square is that right yeah so b square plus a square i have made it minus uh, c square which is 3.6 square divided by 2 times 12.5 times 9 
so you get 156.25 plus 81 minus 12.96 divided by 225 so add 156.25 plus 81 first rules of bit mass remember that left to right 237.23 237.25 I think 237.25 can it be 81 yes M minus 12.96 divided by 225 why are letters not appearing here on time here you go it's there's a lag here as I'm writing so we have 224.29 divided by 225 so cos of c equals 0 0.99684 so shift of cos shift cos and cos inverse of 0.99684 will give you c equals 4.55 degrees or you can write as 4 degrees 33.2 minutes now because it's just more than 4 degrees just more than 4 degrees 30 minutes I will round it off to 5 degrees because angles cannot because we are talking about courses here right so if I just add this value to the course that I was steering 268 it will give me answer in decimals and minutes so this is 5 degrees so that means this angle here in the big triangle this angle here is 5 degrees so if I add 5 degrees to the course I was steering 268 I will get my course made good so course made good will be 268 degrees plus 5 degrees which is 273 degrees true that is my course made good if you want to add 4 degrees 33.2 minutes the answer will be 272 degrees 33.2 minutes but i like to round it off because it doesn't make sense to write courses at decimals and minutes right so that's the answer i hope this video was useful draw the diagram yourself try to figure it out yourself watch the video a few times and you will get the sense of it bye